Okay, so uh, before we start with the video, uh, I'd like to bring to your attention uh, the uh, my subscribers. Uh, a lot of people are watching the channel, but very few people are actually subscribing. Uh, it would be a great help uh, if you could uh, sort of subscribe. Uh, and just. Uh, So, and what we see here is the ages of the people who are actually um, uh, viewing it. Uh, you'll see that the age is uh, slightly older, around 45 to uh, 65 plus. Uh, so you might find the channel helpful if you want to get an idea about trading. Trading is a risky uh, activity um, and there are ways in which you can go about, about doing it. Um, if you are, want to know more, then simply just drop me a line in the comments and I'll point you uh, to the right direction. Uh, but uh, overall, what we're trying to do is to get the figure up on the subscribers. So thank you very much for your patience. Uh, and please subscribe, share, comment, and uh, uh, hit the notification button, as they say. Okay, so bye for now. Okay, hi there, um, good, good afternoon. Um, I'm going to walk you through uh, the last few days of my trading and what a journey it has been. Now, I'm gonna tell you seriously, if you've got time, okay, uh, pay attention. So, um, I'm not gonna talk much about, have a look at my screen too, please. Uh, we are uh, on the DAX and I'm showing you the uh, 15 minute chart. See if I can bring it to now and see what that looks like. It's too messy, 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 isn't it? Too messy, messy, messy. But the most important thing is, uh, we look on Monday. So over the last few days, since you've seen uh, review one and two, part one and part two, that was uh, uh, Thursday, Friday, and then we had the Monday. Uh, not much to talk about Monday, other than I was fortunately up, okay? Now this is the thing, you see, because I was getting a little bit cocky. Three days in a row, a thousand pounds, a little bit too big for my boots in the old days what i noticed was that whenever i had a good run i was I, I, you know, I, I noticed that whenever i had a good run of trading okay um the next day i'd lose a lot of money and i couldn't work out why is that why, why yeah i have a good run of trading maybe for a week yeah uh, and then all of a sudden you know, I, I, I lose everything. And I couldn't work out what it was. Then I sat down and I thought about it. And do you know what it was? Okay. Uh, what it was, was that I'd make a lot of money. I'd go out on the Raz, have a couple of drinks, buy myself some nice shirts, smoke a big cigar, celebrate and pat myself on the back. Uh, only the next day I'd have a bit of a hangover. I'm mean, affecting my trading, can you believe? Anyway, I'm not, I wasn't going to have that happen again. I wasn't going to have that happen again. However, but I want to talk to you about what happened to me yesterday. Well, I'm telling you, fasten your seatbelts, it's going to be a bumpy ride. Right, so the day started off here, okay? And I saw that and I went long. Kids just gone to school. I held in. Now, uh, I want here well put that where that's right so I've, I've gone long okay I've gone long waiting the pivot point was here pivot point was here and I was trading and you can imagine now I'm in at uh, 10 15 20 pound a point okay you can tell by here which is on if you look at the bottom of that line nine o'clock so by nine o'clock now okay okay I, i've come in here at what uh, uh 15 uh 66 yeah so at 66 it's gone all the way up to here yeah big money i was up uh, just over a thousand pounds by nine o'clock 
by nine o'clock, I was up over a thousand pounds. And I was still riding it. I was still riding it. And the reason why I was riding it was because the pivot point was here at about 15,268. Uh, and that was it, 15,268. Yeah? Now, this is where I deserved the slap in the face, to be quite honest with you. Um, because there, it stuttered. There, it stuttered. We're on the 15 minute chart now. Yeah? And I was thinking, don't worry, it's gonna push. There's waiting for some there's waiting for some news, it's gonna it's gonna push. Waited here, nothing happened. So for 40 a minimum of 45 minutes, I'm sitting on a one thousand pounds profit and I'm not taking it. Why? Because I want it to go an extra, I don't know, 30 points, yeah, uh, to get the rest. And in either way, it's me trying to uh, enforce my discipline if you, if you like yeah so then what happens of course it starts going down and I'm thinking mm, okay it's going down maybe it's taking a breather maybe it's taking a breather so you can do the run up to go over that line over that pivot point okay and then this happens by which time I realise that is not the case and now all the profits what I've made I've virtually given them back right now I'm in a state of confusion, an absolute state of confusion, because yes, my overall view was bearish, I'd made money on the upside, but this signal here, this here, is a bearish signal, okay? Now I'm gonna try and put a video in the comment at the end of this uh, about double thing from George Orwell's 1984, and the, the idea of double thing, and that is to be able to hold two simultaneous uh, opposing views at the same time and believe in both of them because this is what you need in trading okay so i've gone bullish i now see in real time that it's gone against me i've come out and i'm thinking do i go long do i go short i'm like no i'm going short but i'm a little bit hesitant okay so i've gone short okay now it's gone all the way back up here and i'm like whoa i'm a little bit scared here so i've come out i've taken another loss another loss then it's gone down like that now when it's gone down like that i'm confident that is a that is a short okay so i've shorted it again and i start making some money back but the losses are sublime the losses are sublime and we'll go into those losses in a moment okay now on the equity the chart so coming down coming down coming down and at this point here and even here that looks like a good short and i was so I still short there because I figured that is a confirmation. That's usually quite a good time for going short. It starts going against me. I don't know why. No, it starts going against me. I make some money up on here. Okay. Uh, here. I can't remember what I did there. I can't remember. But by this time, five o'clock, it was all over. And to be honest, I was losing a lot. And that's right. Yes, I do remember. I was here. I was going short again. Yeah, so I made money on the upside. Made some money back on the upside. I went short and then I was I was just nervous and I dropped it. Dropped it in, dropped it out, dropped it. I lost at least 600 pounds jobbing. What do I mean by jobbing? What I mean is that, let's suppose at this price here, the price is uh, 15,100, yeah? So you're at 15,100 and you think it's gonna go down. So you short it, okay? You short it 10 pound a point and it, boom, it goes right up against you goes up um, 25 ticks against you so now you're 250 pounds you're like oh my god I've got it wrong you come out and then the price goes back down to 100 and you're like no actually I was right all the time so now you get in at 100 although <laughs> you that's just cost you 250 pounds so whatever profit you were thinking of when you went at 100 <laughs> you've now shaved off 250 pounds okay so then it starts going in your, your in your direction, and you're like, that's okay, I can make it back up. And and all of a sudden it goes right back up again. Now it's gone up to 115. And you're like, oh my god, you've come out. Now you've taken 400 pound hit altogether. Okay. And you're like, whoa, what's going on here? Okay. All of a sudden, that trade, what you want it to do, isn't looking so attractive. You've just got to go so much more deeper, so much more deeper, just to recover your jobbing. Okay. So what's the point of jobbing? You can say, what is the point? For penny, for pound. Well, sometimes 
there's going to be a reversal. And you're trying to, you know, it's like jumping into the river, not knowing exactly what current it is, trying to feel. As I said to you before, when you're going to do the jobbing, in all honesty, it's better to go in the lower size. It's a lot better all the way around. So now I'm sitting on a loss. That day, that day, yesterday, yes the bloody day, yes the bloody day, I lost two thousand. £800. All my winnings back. Why? Because I was fighting it. I was getting into this. You know that song, Michael Jackson? I want you back. Ooh, baby, give me one more chance. Let me go wishing. One, two, three, and back in your heart. That's how I felt. I want you back. I want my money back. I've got to get it back. It weren't happening. It weren't happening. But I hate losing. I do hate that situation about losing. And, and and I wanted to make some trades where I was actually winning, and it was a nightmare. Um, I think I'd done 40, no, um, maybe, we'll get the figures a bit later, but probably about maybe 50 trades. And out of those 50 trades, I was wrong on 35, 36 of them. You know, something's telling you something, yeah? Yeah, you're not getting it. You're not getting the feel of the market. Anyway, still, I'm like, I need to get some money back. I need to claw some money back. So I've gone short here. Night. I've got an overnight position. That's how bad it was. I've gone overnight and I'm there, there. And you know what? I couldn't sleep, quite frankly. I couldn't sleep properly. Couldn't, you know, yeah. The curiosity certainly killed the cat. And uh, I was uh, peeping, not much going down. And then around, you no, know, yeah, about here, they start, so. Although I was peeping, I wanted the price in order for me to be whole again, in order for me to be flat again, it had to go to 14,975. Uh, yeah, here, here. And I'm like, okay, it looks like it's trending down. Maybe it'll just plummet during the night and I'll get that money and everything's all well and good. But I'm going to put my stop all the way up here. If that means I'm gonna lose even more great money if I'm wrong, but hey, it's worth it. You know, sometimes you've gotta put your balls on the line when you're doing a bit of trade. My thing, my rationale, if you like. So um, I'm short, and then I wake up early in the morning. It must be seriously about four, something stupid like that. And it's gone down and it's gone down. And I'm like, whoa, I was 800 pounds up on that one particular trade. And, but still, it's a long distance to go. And I thought, nah, forget it. Come out, 800 pounds is good. Work it out in the morning. In the morning now, what do I see? My BDI. But Dom, it's gone down, right down, 944. So it would have hit the 971, 75, no problem. I would have been totally flat. So it's difficult, psychologically. Worse than that, Okay, uh, I didn't really do much uh, uh, in the morning, such, but it's gone down. It's come back up here, and I missed all this movement here. So that's the FOMO coming in now, the FOMO, and that's always a bad time to trade FOMO, fear of missing out when you've done that move. Okay, but hey, I needed to do something, and it was a, that was a bullish signal, and I and I anticipated bullish, and I wasn't going to scale in. I was all in, in for a penny. In for a pound and I've gone in at 20 pound a point because that's my limit at the moment I've got a small account size so only 5,000 but like from yesterday we've gone from 5,000 down at one point it was under 2,000 and it was so bad I put my own margin call on to do that last trade the overnight uh, trade I put an extra thousand pounds in okay so now I've come in there and it's risen up and I'm looking for this pivot point here and I'm waiting and it's hovering again. I thought, oh, we've been there before yesterday. We've been there before. And I was a little bit scared, a little bit scared. And then I had uh, um, a GP appointment, yeah, hospital um, medical appointment. And I thought, you know what, I cannot be having it. I, can, yeah. I was only 10 ticks away from it getting to there. Only 10 ticks away. And I thought, I can't leave a limit order on there and it just go down like it done yesterday. I can't afford it. So I just, I've just come out. I've come out at 11, yeah? I wanted it to be 20, yeah? So that's a, a 100 and, uh, um, 
30. Uh, my my one was for 120. Yeah, it was at 11. I couldn't. I could not even bother to wait. I came out, went to the uh, my uh, GP appointment, then went down the rubber dump, got myself a beer. Now when I've come out now, but dosh, I've seen this. It's like it's 40. Is that 40? So. Had I not been a coward and stayed in my position, getting out at 111, I would have got an extra, what? We're talking about, what, 29? 29, 200. That's 600, just under 600 quid I left on the table. Now the FOMO's coming in. and But this is, this is where the rub was. I shorted it. Yeah, it's come up to there. I said, you know what? I'm bearish. I am bearish on this market. And although it's come up, do you remember I told you in the first uh, part one that you can make money even though it's going down, even though the market's going down, even though the bear, it's a bearish market, but you should have on your mind um, what you should have on your mind uh, what the overall trend is, because the trend is your friend, and it helps you to understand some of the market movements. Okay. So I've gone short here, and you can see there was a lot of pain, a lot of pain. Because I've gone short here and it's gone up. I put my stop here at 200, 15, 200, okay? And uh, put my stop at 15, 200. It's going up there. At one point, I was uh, 900 pounds offside. 900 pounds offside. So all the gains I made here, okay? Once again, it looks like I've given them back. Not all of them, okay? Then it started coming down and I was confident. And it shot down here. And this is where my trade is at the moment. But I came out to do this video. Me coming out doing this video has actually cost me some money, by the way. Because uh, as you see where that, where that green is, I think it was about here if I came out. Yeah. Uh, if I had stayed, I would have been coming out here. So that that was what uh, my my uh, my trading two days have been like. Yeah, yesterday was a total nightmare. Total nightmare. And it just really showed me. I knew sometimes you're going to get in a spin. When I get in a spin, I get in a spin. And I just, I, I don't know. So everything goes out the window and put them, yeah? People could say you should have a little bit more discipline, da, 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 da. Yeah, maybe, maybe so. Uh, not maybe, but definitely. But, uh, you know, discipline is shown in other areas. So let me just show you, um, I'll show you my equity curve uh, for the current week. Here we go. So you can see, yeah, uh, this is for this week. It's uh, Wednesday. It's, uh, it's uh, three days trading, yeah. So I made some money here. You see, we don't gave it back. That this was yesterday. Give it all back, and then here, give it all back. It was bit ah, oh, it was painful. You can see that. I'm fighting to restore it. I'm losing. I'm fighting to restore it. I'm losing. And then this is all today's money. This is what's happened to me for me today. All coming back, yeah? So that is a battle. What have we got here? We're on 1,500, yeah? I also done some withdrawals. And the money what I put for the margin call, I actually put back. I would ordinarily, to be honest, stay in that trade, but it's a bit too much uh, me trading. And uh, so, yeah, me trade. I might put another trade on in a moment. Uh, so now, here, one second, I'll try and give you a breakdown. Current week. So my current week looks like this. Now, 50-50, boom, flick a coin, 50-50. Uh, 77 trades done, 39 winning, uh, 38 um, losing. No scratches, okay. One thousand five hundred up on the day. You can tell, look at that. Look at that. That was a hell of a day. That was a hell of a day. Let's go. Let's, let's go and look on yesterday. You see how bloody it was. So there. Look at this yesterday. So forty-two trades I've done. Ten of them were, were right trades. And sometimes it was a small size. So I trade. I'm, tra I'm trading. Uh, 20 pound a point on the big ones what I lose and when I win I'm trading 5 pound a point you know um, but yeah I lost 32 okay 
I was down 2,825 pounds. That's a lot to bear, a lot to bear. That was all my gains. I made 3,000 pounds three days beforehand. I gave it all back, all back. And now, today, yeah, but don't. I've made it back. I made my losses from yesterday back, plus I'm 100 pounds on top. Not too bad. I can't, yeah. And it's a, a good a ratio, uh, 18 trades, 13 winning. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. So um, there's not much more to say, really, uh, other than uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little series. I don't know if I can do this uh, more frequently. Just to let you know, my starting balance was, let's say, £5,000. was £4,750, to be honest, to start off with. Uh, and I've added a thousand to it and then withdrawn that thousand as soon as I was sort of back in play. I used that um, a thousand like a margin call uh, to enable me to have the uh, the firepower, if you like, to trade the size I needed to trade to get back on track. Uh, don't recommend it, really. Sometimes a margin call is there for a reason. It's saving me over trading things get difficult, okay? But I do go, I like to have a little bit of a. Uh, uh, Reinforcements uh, uh, and reserves, yeah. Uh, if, in case I have one of those you know, terrible days, so uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please uh, like and subscribe. And I tell you. Okay, so sounds sounds a bit funny. So I mean, essentially, I've noticed that I've got a lot of viewers and not many subscribers. So if you can please uh, subscribe uh, to the channel and hit the notification button, uh, and uh, you'll see more, more more videos like this. There'll also be some political ones, uh, but at this moment in time, just trying to earn a little bit of money, you know. Okay then, uh, thank you for your time and uh, bye bye.